endive, endive, and endive once again. What's up, 23% Nation? This is your man, Coach D. Today, I'm back with Vegetable of the Day, the one and only endive. So maybe you mistake this for a different type of vegetable. Maybe you've seen it before. Maybe you eat it all day, every day. Well, whatever the case may be, please listen and watch on why, because we're about to dive just a little deeper into the wonderful world of the endive. All right, first up, a little bit of background information. So a lot of people may wonder what in the world is endive? Well, guys, according to dictionary.com, the official endive definition is a plant cultivated for its crisp, curly leaves, which are used in salads. That's right. To put it simply, however, the endive plant is a leafy vegetable that belongs to the chicory root family and encompasses several unique varieties. Now, take a look at the picture. As you can clearly see, endive comes in at least two different colors, right? We could say yellow, maybe light green, or we could say red, or maybe maybe a, a purple-ish <laughs> type color, maybe maroon. <laughs> so there we have it, guys, a little bit of background information about what endive is. All right, more background information. There are actually three different types of endives available. We have curly, we have Belgian, and then we have broad leafed. So take a look at the picture. As you can see, those are uh, a few samples of the different varieties of endives. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, more background information. And getting back to the picture, you can see that the shapes and the color of the leaves or the vegetable itself are actually very different. So even though it's they all fall under the name endive, they all have different shapes, apparently different sizes and different colors. Wow, who knew? <laughs> so there we have it, guys. Lots of information about the one and only endive. All right, more background information. So what does endive taste like and what is it used for? A lot of us may be wondering. Although the flavor can vary a bit between different types, it generally has a crisp, crunchy texture and a slightly bitter taste. It works well in salads or cooked and served as a delicious endive appetizer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the picture. Looks delicious, yes. So if you're ever wondering what in the world would an endive appetizer look like, well, look no further. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. Even more background information about the one and only endive. All right, now it's time for a few fun facts. Keep in mind that endive pronunciation can differ between these different varieties. The curly variety, for example, is pronounced endive. The Belgian variety is pronounced endive. In some regions of the United Kingdom, certain varieties of this popular leafy green are also known as frise or frise. That's right. So, whether you want to pr pronounce it frise or frise, take a look at the picture. Now you know exactly what frise or frise actually looks like. That's right, guys. So, there we have it. Fun facts about the one and only endive or endive. All right, now it's time for the not so fun facts. Although uncommon, some people have reported food allergy symptoms after eating this leafy green. If you notice any adverse side effects like hives, rashes, itching or swelling, discontinue consumption and of course talk to your doctor. Additionally, it's important to moderate your intake of this leafy green and other vitamin K foods if you are taking warfarin or other blood thinners. Wow, who knew? So there we have it, guys. We now know the not-so-fun facts about endive. Interesting. All right, now it's time for the 520 rule. Ladies and gentlemen, the 520 rule is all about reading and understanding food labels. That's right. Basically, the 520 rule is a guide. 
It's a guide that lets you know whether or not a food or beverage item is a good source or not a good source of any particular nutrient. Now, specifically when we talk about the 520 rule, really we're talking about percent daily value, abbreviated percent DV. Now let's take a look at our sample food label. As you can see, it is basically divided into three different parts. We have the percent daily value, the purple portion, and then we have a few nutrients highlighted in yellow, and then we have a few nutrients highlighted in blue. So at this time, I like to take it color portion by color portion. So first, let's talk about the percent daily value column. Now, as you can see, percent DV is represented as a percentage, right? And so it's a scale. It's a scale that goes as low as 100% to as high I'm sorry, that goes as low as 0% to as high as 100%. Now let's take a look at the yellow portion. The yellow portion basically highlights those nutrients which unfortunately do the body a lot of harm, meaning they cause sickness, they cause illness, and ultimately disease. So the next time you're eating or drinking something, take a look at the trans fats, the saturated fats, the cholesterol, and the sodium. And please make sure that those percent DVs are as close to 0% as possible. Next up, let's talk about the blue nutrients, such as dietary fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron, which basically represent all vitamins and minerals. Well, guys, these blue nutrients do just the opposite of the yellow nutrients. Rather than promote disease, they promote wellness and health within the body temple. So the next time you eat or drink something, you probably want to make sure that those percent DVs are as close to 100% as possible. Now, let's expand on the 520 rule. Ladies and gentlemen, if a food or beverage item offers 0% to 9% DV of any particular nutrient, then that food or beverage item is considered not a good source of that particular nutrient. Next, if the food or beverage item offers 10% to 19% DV, then that food or beverage item is considered a good source of that particular nutrient. Lastly, if the food or beverage item offers 20% DV or greater, then that food or beverage item is considered an excellent source of that particular nutrient. So there we have it guys, the ins and outs about the 520 rule. Okay. Now that we've gone over the 520 rule, let's now talk about the nutrition facts of endive. So for today's lecture, we're gonna say that a single serving of endive is equal to a half cup serving of chopped raw endive, right? <laughs> so in this half cup, we're only gonna get four calories, 0 0.8 grams of carbs, 0 0.3 grams of protein, and 0 0.8 grams of dietary fiber. Now guys, I always highlight protein and fiber. Why? Because plant foods are pretty much the only foods that can provide you with both, which is amazing. Next up, let's take a look at vitamin K. Vitamin K comes in at a whopping 72% DV. Excellent source. Vitamin A comes in at only 11% DV, but still a good source. Then we have folate coming in at 9% DV, not a good source. And lastly is manganese at 5% DV, not a good source. So there we have it, guys, the nutrition facts about the one and only endive. All right, it's now time to talk about the health benefits now that we know the nutrition facts. But before we dive into the health benefits, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk with you about the principle of cause and effect, which basically states that every cause has its effect and every effect has its cause there really is no such thing as chance and or luck. In other words, everything happens for a reason. That being said, today what I wanna do is not only state the health benefit of Indi, but I wanna let you know what is the cause, right? What's the phytonutrient? What's the medicine inside this particular vegetable that gives us these effects? So here we go. Benefit number one, supports digestion. Great, so the question is, what's the cause? Well, it's the fiber. Benefit number two, it's rich in antioxidants, right? So the question is, which antioxidants? Of course, well, we have quercetin, we have camphorol, and we have myrocetin. Benefit number three, strengthens bone health. Great, 
So, which phytonutrient is responsible? Well, say hello to vitamin K. Benefit number four, protects liver function. Nice. So, which medicine is responsible? Well, say hello to the antioxidants. And health benefit number five is that it promotes weight loss. Amazing. So the question is, what's the cause? What's responsible? It's good old fiber. So there we have it, guys. Five amazing health benefits from the one and only Aldive. All right, now it's time to talk about food. <laughs> Plant foods, of course. Now, guys, normally our go-to website for everything vegan is ForksOverKnives.com. But for today, I thought I'd spread our wings just a little bit and introduce you to an all-new, brand-new website. And it happens to be called Naturally Ella. So, as usual, I did a little bit of research, came across two amazing vegan on recipes that I want to share with you right now from NaturallyEla.com. So the first one is arugula salad with roasted potato and endives. Take a look at the picture. Looks delish. The second recipe is endives with roasted beet and avocado. Take a look at that picture. Looks scrumptious. Yes. So here's the thing. If you are inclined to make and taste either one of these recipes, if not both, then all you have to do is click on the description box. That's right. I'm providing you with a direct link to both recipes. Now, when you get to the site, you're going to find a lot of great information, such as cooking time, cooking instructions, and of course, an ingredient list. So there we have it, guys. Not one, but two amazingly delicious vegan on dive recipes from NaturallyEla.com. All right. 23% Nation, I hear you. A lot of you say, well, Coach D, thanks for the fun facts and not so fun facts and the nutrition facts. But what I really want to know is, when should I eat more endive? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if that's your question, then the perfect day, and I do mean the perfect day to eat more endive, is Nature Day. That's right, guys. Nature Day happens to be the first day of the 23% Challenge. Now, maybe you've been living on a rock and you know absolutely nothing about the challenge. Well, here we go. Guys, the 23% Challenge is a monthly seven-day wellness program that is designed to help improve your health, your wealth, your relationships. Oh, and it also helps to save good old planet Earth. Now, being that the challenge is the first seven days of the month, and being that Nature Day is the first day of the challenge, that simply means that Nature Day is the first day of every month, right? So whether it's January 1st, February 1st, or even March 1st, it's always Nature Day. All right. <clears throat> now, a lot of people may say, well, Coach D, Nature Day sounds pretty interesting, but I want to know more about it, right? I mean, what is it really all about? Well, guys... In a nutshell, Nature Day is all about getting closer to nature. Now, yes, there are lots of things you can do to get closer to nature, right? But I am proposing that we get closer to nature by simply eating it. In other words, it's time to eat more plants. Now, I do understand that for some people it may be difficult and for others it's absolutely a breeze. So, for those of us who think it's difficult to eat more plants, well... I believe in taking baby steps, right? So you may want to try only eating plants and only drinking water before 12 p.m. That way, after 12 p.m., you can eat and drink whatever you want. Or if before 12 p.m. doesn't work for you, then why don't we try after 12 p.m.? That way, before 12 p.m., you can eat whatever you want to eat. <laughs> okay? Now, for those of us who think 12 hours is not enough time to eat plant foods, well, guys, you may want to up the ante. So you may want to try to become a 3% vegan. Now, that's any person, man, woman, or child who only eats plant foods and drinks only water only one day out of an entire month. Next up is a 10% vegan. Now, that's any person who only eats plant foods and drinks only water only three days out of an entire month. Next up is a 17% vegan. 
That's any person who only eats plant foods and drinks only water only five days out of an entire month. And lastly is the ultimate 23% vegan. Now, technically, that's what Coach D considers himself to be. So basically what that means is that for the first seven days of every single month, I eat only from the five food groups of plant foods, which happen to be fruits, vegetables, herbs, and spices, nuts and seeds, whole grains, and let's not forget about legumes, meaning beans and peas. So there we have it, guys, the ins and outs about Nature Day. All right. Now, a lot of you <clears throat> now understand what Nature Day is all about. We know when it is. We know what we're supposed to eat. But then uh, some of you may still have a question as to whether or not you should or need to participate in Nature Day. Well, guys, what I'm going to do now is list a few different types of people who would be perfect for Nature Day. And uh, But ultimately, the decision is yours. So... Maybe you have some type of physical condition, such as the big four, meaning heart disease, obesity, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. Maybe you have skin issues, such as eczema, psoriasis, pimples, and acne. Maybe you have digestive issues, such as constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, or maybe leaky gut syndrome. Or maybe you're having a few mental issues, such as depression, anxiety, anger, sadness. And so maybe you're looking for a holistic, natural approach to your healing. Well, guys, it's simple. Eat more plants. Maybe you want to change your appearance. Maybe you want to lose a few pounds, lose a few inches, or maybe you want to add on some serious muscle. Well, you can always try our vegan lean or vegan bulk program. Or maybe you are a beginner and maybe you're looking for a very seamless way to transition from the standard American diet diet to a more whole food plant-based diet right or maybe you just may want to eat more plants why because you heard it was good for the environment well guys if you meet any of those criteria then guess what nature day is definitely for you so there we have it guys we now know exactly who nature day is for all right now it's time for coach these tips Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to offer a little bit of assistance, a little bit of advice. Why? Because I want your Nature Day to be successful. So tip number one, go visit your local grocery store. Now, when you get there, you're going to go to one of three places. Number one, produce section. Number two, freezer aisle. Number three, the canned good aisle. Now, a lot of people may say, well, why should I visit those places? Well, the produce section is where you're going to find all of your fresh plant foods. The freezer aisle is where you're going to find all of your frozen plant foods. And the canned good aisle is where you're going to find all of your canned plant foods. Now, a lot of people may wonder, well, Coach D, what's best, fresh, frozen, or canned? Well, guys, I'll say this. If you want to make sure that you get the greatest amount of nutrients from your plant foods, go with fresh. Now, believe it or not, Frozen plant foods come in a very, very close second. The, the primary reason why a lot of people prefer frozen over fresh is because frozen simply lasts longer. That's right. Now, in third place, I would definitely say canned plant foods. Now, you got to understand something about the canning process is that as foods or specifically plant foods are canned, well, Unfortunately, they lose a lot of their nutrients and a lot of toxins are added in the form of additives, colors, and artificial sweeteners. So unfortunately, you may end up eating more toxins than you do nutrients. Tip number two, go to the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store. So once you're done with the produce section, the freezer aisle, and the canned good aisle, walk on over to the prepared dishes section. Talk to the person behind the counter and ask them if they offer any vegan, not vegetarian options. If they do and they look good, ask for a sample. Don't worry, it's free. And if you like it, purchase it by the pound, maybe even two, maybe even three pounds if you really, really, really like it. Tip number three, go visit your local farmer's market. Now guys, farmer's markets are amazing. Why? Well, because they cater to the non-GMO 
organic plant food market. That's right. So if you're the type of person who just has to have organic this, organic that, non-GMO this, non-GMO that, well, you probably want to go to your local farmer's market. And here's something that may surprise you is that the prices for the produce may be cheaper. That's right. Why? Because the produce is grown locally. Who knew? Tip number four, go visit a vegan restaurant. Now, guys, vegan restaurants are amazing. Now, don't just visit them. Actually, sit down and order and eat. <laughs> now, guys, vegan restaurants are amazing. Number one, because they hire vegan chefs. And number two, not only do the vegan chefs know exactly how to cook plant food so that they retain most of their nutrients, but then they also know which plant foods to combine to yield the most delicious, nutritious dishes. So if you decide to go, let them know that Coach D sent you. And tip number five is to get a subscription to a vegan meal prep company. That's right, guys. I highly recommend this if you're the type of person who doesn't know how to cook plant foods, you don't want to cook plant foods, or you just don't have time to cook plant foods. I say let somebody else do the cooking for you. Now, here's how they operate. You give them a call. You get the subscription. They make the food. They deliver the food. You eat the food. Yes, it's just that simple. So there we have it, guys. Five tips to help make your nature day successful. All right. It's time for our question of the day. And this comes from yours truly and the rest of the 23% nation. We have inquiring minds. So we want to know what is on dive <laughs> or in dive, however you choose to pronounce it. Well, guys, I believe I covered that information earlier in the lecture. So if you missed it, simply hit rewind. If you got it, please write your answer in the comment box below. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. As always, let's eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. This is your man, Coach D. Now, before I sign out, I got to ask you to please subscribe, share, comment, and like the video, especially if you love on Dave. And don't forget to use our three word mantra. It's hashtag eat more plants. As stated earlier, my name is Coach D. I'm signing out. Always remember to take care. God bless and never, ever forget that Coach D loves you.